all you Bruglians. Should I start calling you all that? Welcome back to a highly requested video here on the channel where I rank backrooms things on a tier list from best to worst or worst to best. I've done this entire video before with levels and with entities, so I figured I might as well do it with every single backrooms object as well. So if you like these kind of videos where I just dive in, give you my rock hard, honest truth, about everything, leave a like, I'd appreciate it. If you want more like this, I'd be glad to do it. If you don't, suck, suck my, my big, big toe. toe. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into the ranking and let's see what backrooms objects are gonna be placed where. Okay, we have the tier list here, of course. There's only 30 items on this thing, so I kind of clickbaited you up. But these are the 30 most popular items and I'm gonna rank every single one of them. Starting now, of course, Numero uno, number one, this is almond water. Guys, almond water is gonna be an A tier. Or no, it's gonna be an S tier, I think. The way I'm gonna rate these is I'm gonna rate them on how awesome I think they are in the canon and the lore, and how cool they would also be in real life if they worked the same. I think almond water is super cool. I wish there was like a liquid that healed you and made you not insane in real life. Babel Balm. This one is also super cool. I think this one allows you to like understand any language or talk in any language which is super dope. If applied near the lips, Babble Bomb allows users to be understood by anyone that can hear their voice regardless of language barriers. That's super cool. That needs to exist in real life. I can't even lie. Uh, it's not an S tier. We'll put it in an A tier. Light work. You know how it is. Next up is candy and candy is pretty awesome as well. This thing, I think they just, they have a bunch of different types that give you different reactions and different, uh, Different effects, you could say. That's that's what I tried to get to, but I couldn't. Uh, these are pretty on the nose, because they're the name is just candy, and there's already like stuff that can give you different effects in real life that's candy, so we'll put this at a C tier, but as far as the backrooms goes, I would definitely have some of that in the backrooms. I, I, I agree, that's pretty dope, I can't even lie. Next up, next up is the Consequential Cube. This one is really cool as it relates to the backrooms lore. I think it's super dope. I love how each different color that you saw of the cube gives you like a different little, different little prize, you could say, but I also also don't think it would be good in real life or actually in the back rooms because it's like a 50 50 chance that your reward sucks I'm pretty sure yeah, yeah the white side you get teleported to a safe level and the green side you get food and the blue side you get your, your thirst quench but the yellow orange and red side uh these suck since the red side you can get blindness, paralysis, and bone randomization. And I don't like my bones random, guys, so I'm not gonna- I'm gonna put this at an S, S tier, middle of the road. I think it'd be pretty decent to uh, see some of my friends get bone randomized, but not myself, I ain't risking it. Next up is the de-euclidators, I think is what this little thing is representing. These things are really cool. It can kind of mess with the entire, like, being entire physical realm around you for like 50 meters. I think it's 50 meters, let me check that real quick. Yeah, about 50 meters and maximum charge. Well, I remember that, I'm just cracked at the game. De Euclidator has several properties considered unusual and anonymous it can of course warp the surrounding areas and that's pretty dope the way it appears to the human eye is surrounding area getting considerably closer without shrinking in size that is pretty awesome this can throw off literally like the entire reality it's almost like thanos with the reality stone i like this this should be a thing in real life it's getting an a tier sub of course is dumb gum and i think this is the item that when you chew it get knocked out for like an hour so, uh, I'm kind of like split because this could be a nice little sleeping remedy for those of you who are night owls and can't fall asleep. But also, I don't want to have gum that knocks me out because I have no problem going to sleep. Ah! Whoa, whoa, Mike. Mike, stay up, Mike. What are we doing? Dumb gum is gets an SS tier. I don't know. I don't really see a use for it, but I could be missing something. I'm not sure. Next up is fire salt. This thing's awesome. And these kind of exist in real life, but they're grenades. Fire salt is one of the coolest backrooms items, I think. I'm putting it in A tier. I would have this on standby in any level, doing anything. I'd have some fire salt on me. And the same thing with greasy marshmallows. Greasy marshmallows are dope. One of the most OG items in the backrooms. They really, really just are neat. Pretty much like the greasy marshmallows if you eat i think it's like 30 or something of them you get really strong kind of like an adrenaline kick it's like you're injecting yourself with bane serum that's why it's pretty cool if you eat more than that though you start like turning into a marshmallow so as long as you do it in moderation i think it's pretty neat so it's going to be tier i can't even see what this is i literally can't even see this oh lamps lamps are pretty cool they're like a little portable like surveillance thing it helps light the ways for levels kind of basic kind of simple we'll put it at a d tier it's Neither here nor there. Level keys. My friend, level keys are one of the most unique items in the back rooms. One of the best. Uh, I'm gonna put it at a B tier. I think the lore around them is really cool, and I wish they existed in real life. I wish you could just teleport somewhere. That'd be nice. Liquid 
Silence. Liquid silence. We're hovering up here. C, B, A. I ain't sure. I'll put it a B. I'll put a mid B tier. Liquid silence, one of those classic things as well. You can't go wrong with liquid silence. Yeah, it's got that like little pocket dimension that, that it holds sound in. So you can pretty much like store up sound. That's pretty neat. I can see that being pretty useful. What is on my hat right now, bro? What is that? I can see it being pretty useful. We're gonna put it in B tier. Next up, I think, is Lucky O Milk. Let's open it in a new tab and see. Yep, Lucky O Milk. Lucky O Milk. I made it in real life. It tastes good. I'm putting it in a C tier because uh, if you have an allergy, then, then you deserve to be made fun of. Maiden Zinc is pretty cool. You can only see it if you're wearing one of the uh, masks. And that, yeah, that's pretty nice. You can have like secret little messages to your little like secret admirer and such. Uh, I think Invisible Ink should be a thing in real life. It's, it, I don't think it is, but if it is, correct me, we're putting it in a C tier. Up, I think this is referring to office terminals, which is pretty much like a computer that you can find to access chat room, specifically a chat room. This is a pretty neat idea for the back rooms, but as far as real life goes, mid, but it is a back room. So it's nice to have like access to that. Low C tier, we'll put it at that. That's fine, whatever. This next one is a pretty rare one. I don't think many people know about this. This is Rixa gas. This is like a uh, bio weapon that can be used to fight people or entities off. And essentially what it does is if you get in contact with it, you, I think it's go through the wretched cycle. So it like forcefully turns you into like a zombie, which is pretty nice. Uh, as far as using it, it'd be awesome to have, but as far as getting use, it used on you, that would suck. So we're gonna land at like a low C tier above uh, the office terminals, you know, middle of the road. Royal Ration, one of the best backrooms items. I love the idea. I made it in real life. Check out the video. Tastes great. It's pretty cool. Love the fact that you can get it and it lasts a long time. Pretty nice. These are scarecrows. I, I assume that's what that little dude is. That's what that little dude is. Yeah, that's just a scarecrow. Uh, scarecrow is basic item, basic thing. Um, I'm gonna put low D tier. Not much to write home about. The page itself is small on it, so whatever. Smiler repellent is apparently what this image is. I love the idea of smiler repellent. I love that you can just run into a room and like spray it on the smiler, and it's like eh. it's gonna get a a, a mid B tier for me. Oh no, not A. Mid B tier of the idea, I love the concept, pretty cool. And the same exact logic I use there goes for the squirt guns as well. Low B tier, really unique as far as uh, backrooms items go. You can just spray different chemicals like uh, almond water, or you could use even like liquid fire salt and you can use it kind of as a weapon. Mirrors or whatever, we're gonna go for a D tier. Not really that cool. Actually, we'll do like mid C, low C. No explanation needed, it's going there. Don't question me at all this is the phonograph this is the only item on here that i think is only one there's only one phonograph that we know of i think it's in level five and essentially what happens is it plays music based on who interacts with it and who goes around and near it and it has different effects based on who it goes by and i think that's pretty freaking cool and i like that it's only one it's neat these are Umi's sweets, or Yumi's sweets, depending on what you say and how you pronounce it. I love these things. I think there's like a billion different kinds of them. Let me check it out. A ton of different kinds of them. I love how each of them do different things and different, you know, effects. It's a tickles me right in the right bone. Um, it's pretty cool. I love the different flavors, the different effects and, and such. We're gonna go high B tier for that one. Almost A tier. Pretty nice. Wall masks. Another great backrooms item. Really unique. Really cool. Love the effects that happen in it. Love how they can spy on you. It just adds this level of like uncertainty as if you need more uncertainty in your life in the back room. The Wayback Machine is a pretty decent in-universe item, but the Wayback Machine exists in real life too. But this is pretty cool because you can like redo items. I think you can like heal them kind of uh, or like revert them to their previous state, which is pretty nifty. But bottom of C tier is where I think it's going to go. Wi-Fi in the back room. I'm mixed feeling about this might be the lowest rated one I, I think this is very mid i like the idea of random wi-fi in the back rooms but i don't like the idea of a consistent one why i say it like that of a consistent one i'm gonna put it at the low ss tier not quite in the ef or ff i think you gotta be like really stupid and bad and ugly to be in these te these tiers it, like hardly anything can get these because i'm a nice guy anyways last for the video are the scara backs these things are pretty nice. They're like a uh, in pocket. They're kind of like the golden snitch from Harry Potter. If you've ever seen that, you can hold them. They open up. They make like a buzzing loud noise. You can use them to scare off other creatures that want to like destroy you and eat your nose off. You can use these things to kind of like throw up in the air and they distract them and come back to you. It's just a pretty nice thing to have uh, at all times. So if you find yourself stuck, if you find yourself surrounded, throw one of these uh, scarabacks out and they're going to help you. Uh, these are pretty unique and they also have pretty cool like Egyptian folklore built into them, which is pretty nice. So we're going to go mid B tier above smiler repellent for that. Uh, most of the weapons found themselves in the B tier. Most of the actual usable things are in C tier. And these things are just 
you can't beat these but yeah this is the official rank there's no other more official ranking than this one so you guys should do your own uh, tier rankings and if they're not like this then it's not right but actually though i think this is pretty pretty balanced pretty even if you have any uh, disagreements if you have any agreements comment them below and um if you think i'm completely stupid for it just tell me in the comments i'd appreciate it Almond water the best, Wi-Fi the worst, pretty nifty and cool and epic based pilled if you ask me. If you don't stop following Mike, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Pretty please, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for your support. I love doing tier lists. If you have any ideas what else I should do, then please comment them in the uh, comment section below. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for all you do. And uh, I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.